someone to fight at my side in the arena. Harold Gord, I'll not shield you with my own chest, and I'll not bump fists with you. Heroism's a foreign concept to me, as is excessive familiarity. But I wager you'll not find a better comrade for battle. I can't just take your word for it. So far, I know what you won't do. Any unique qualifications? I fucking love a good rumble. And I hit hard and fast, especially when payment's involved. It's about combining business with pleasure for me. That's what makes me a sure and true ally. I've no ideals, no higher calling. Like that cockerel mad with love over there. Nor am I like that witch with her suspect intentions. The honor of a mercenary, that's my creed. So pay me and you're guaranteed I'll not hang you out to dry. You're a gentleman of the crossbow. I get it. Aye, every last inch of me. Good luck. An expert in the magic arts, am I right? A mistress of magic, White One. I'm Adriana. Geralt of Rivia. Pleasure to meet you. I should think so. In case you're wondering what I'm doing here, and I think you will wonder once you recover, I seek a companion to assist me in the arena. I've always done well with sorceresses. Not so fast. You failed to let me finish. Know that I know who you are and consider your skills inferior to my own. You will draw greater benefit from working with me than I will from working with you. Thus I think it only fair that you pay me for my help. My rates are not excessive. It's merely a matter of principle. Hmm. Why does a mistress of magic rent her skills out to all kinds of shady characters? It's no secret. I wish to test some spells I've developed in combat situations. I need to try them on as many living things as I can, in order to then optimize the formula. But here I am, chatting away while you're probably not even interested in professional details. In brief, if you've coin to spend, and you wish to have some magic artillery in the arena, consider me ready and willing. Goodbye. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm a witcher. Vincent Molnar, at your service. And that is no mere courtesy, it is a fact. In exchange for consideration that anyone would consider modest, I will be your partner in arms in the arena. To preempt some queries, yes, I am a knight. Yet there is nothing disparaging in the fact that I sell my sword, as I do it for a worthy cause. Let me guess, for your beloved. Would it were that simple? There is a beloved, indeed. Yet of all the virtues I could assign to her, there is one singular trait that has brought me here. Vanda, for that is the name of the mistress of my heart, adores chivalrous romances. She desires to marry one who defeats a manticore. Her father, my future father-in-law, or so I believe, remains entirely indifferent to knightly feats, and merely wants to place his daughter in the arms of one who is wealthy. Where then could I travel but here? I have it on good authority that I shall be able to face the ever-dangerous manticore, and in doing so, fill my empty coin pouch. Well, here's hoping you can satisfy both your lady and her father. Kind words, Witcher. Truth be told, I would gladly fight alongside one as experienced with monsters as you. Should you require my sword in the arena, I shall place it at your disposal. For a modest fee, of course. Don't get yourself killed, Witcher.